No, no blood. Not mine. For the test. Dr. House told me about it. You're gonna steal it. Sell it. No. No blood. No. No blood. No. No blood. How no. long? Five no. milligram stack. No. 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 Oh, no. Oh. No. You drugged her. Actually, I didn't. I've taken her off all medication. Your guy foreman gave her Haldol. We needed blood for tests. I assume that was the only way to get it. He knocked her out. Look, I have a cane and I know how to use it. I hired you. You work for me. Okay. Can I go now, boss? The Haldol changes her. She says it makes her soul numb. Don't give it to her. If there be rags enough, he will know her name and be well pleased remembering it. <coughs> you okay? Old days. For in the old days, though she had young men's praise and old men's blame, among the poor, both old and young gave her praise. When I said no psych meds, I'm just curious, which word didn't you understand? The Haldol had nothing to do with the bleed. You know that. I used it purely as a chemical restraint. Oh, great. Well, that's good to hear. So she won't experience any of those pesky little side effects you get when your motives aren't pure. Oh, those side effects are so rare. What, passing out? Increased confusion, depression, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna screw up our diagnosis because you just used it to restrain her. I'm so relieved. She spit in my face. Oh, that must have been so frightening for you. What was I supposed to do, tie her down? Yeah, anything but give her drugs. That's basically my point. The clotting studies. Pretty fast, you promised to date the entire lab? No, I saved that for emergencies. I told him she bled out two units and if it happened again, she'd die. If it had happened at home, she would have died. The ER doc? He was gonna send a home. It turns out your best judgment is not good enough. Here's an idea, next time use mine. I think they're choosing a movie. Why did the patient bleed out? The clotting studies so far are normal. Well, cover your ears if you don't want me to spoil the ending. Everything was normal, except for a prolonged PT time, which means what? Usually it means whoever drew the blood didn't do it right. Oh, that's right, because you drew the blood. But you were precise, because you knew the tube was purely for the PT study. That's right. And I'm right with you. I trust this result for two reasons. A, because you are a good doctor, and B, because five milligrams of IV Haldol makes for a spectacularly cooperative patient. The prolonged PT time makes me think she's got a vitamin K deficiency. Vitamin K would explain the bleed, but not the clot. Without vitamin K, protein C doesn't work. Without protein C, she clots. Clotting and thinning all at the same time. What about another drug interacting with heparin? An antibiotic like ampicillin? That would Clever, but she's not on ampicillin. Two months ago, she complained of his sore throat and he got her ampicillin. Which she refused to take. He just said she didn't take it. What is it? Everybody lies except for schizophrenics and their children? It's more likely than malnourishment. Why not scurvy or the plague? Gee, I wish my idea was as cool and with it as yours. What is yours, by the way? Do you have one? Alcohol. Simple. It causes immobility, which explains the DVT. It also causes cirrhosis, which explains the bleed and the prolonged PT time. Let's ultrasound the liver. Three theories. Check out our place for ampicillin and diet, then ultrasound her liver. Let's find out who's right before she bleeds to death. It's big. 5.8 centimeters. You do nothing, she dies from liver failure within 60 days. She needs a transplant. That's gonna happen. She's 38 years old, she's a mother. She's a schizophrenic mother with no money, on the public dole, in fact, who knocks back vodka every time a breeze blows her away. Mickey Mantle had a whole bar named after him. He got a transplant. Yeah, well, Lucy can't switch hit. Plan B, surgery to resect the tumor. Joe Bergen does the gamma knife thing. 
Laser cauterizers while it cuts, saves more liver. The tumor's way too big. He won't even consider it. Not a big risk taker, Bergen. Won't even drink milk on his expiration date. He has no discretion. 5.8 centimeters is past the surgical guidelines. Would he do it at 4.6? Why don't we just say it's zero? Then we don't need him at all. Tumors grow, they don't shrink. This one does. 95% ethanol. The ethanol dehydrates the tumor cells. It literally sucks them dry. Shrinks the tumor temporarily. How temporarily? Well, if we're lucky, just long enough to fool the surgeon. bathroom. Very dramatic. Must be very important what she has to say to me. Yesterday your patient's tumor was 5.8 centimeters. Today it's 4.6. How does that happen? Well, I guess I'd say that Dr. House must be really, really good. Why am I wasting him on hiccups? I wash before and after. You also requisitioned 20 cc's of ethanol. What patient was that for? Or are you planning a party? Do me a favor. I was gonna say leave, but that works. You shrunk the tumor. Only way to get the guy to do the surgery. Fraud was the only way. There is a reason that we have these guidelines. I know, to save lives, specifically doctors' lives, and not just their lives, but their lifestyles. Wouldn't wanna operate on anyone really sick. They might die and spoil our stats. Bergen has a right to know what he is operating on. True, I got all focused on her right to live and forgot you do what you think is right. All right, we're done. Close her up. The tumor didn't just walk itself into a bar and throw out the double shot ethanol. Someone shrunk it down. I'm sorry, it was very, very wrong. House is lucky I didn't just close her up. He tries it again, that's what happens. I'll pass it on. It looks like the surgeon got it all, but she's gonna have to have some chemotherapy. What kind is it? Luke, stop running. If you stop for a second, it's not all gonna fall apart. Give yourself a break once in a while. The fact is, your mom's gonna have an extra drink every now and then. No, no, she won't, she doesn't. Fine. There are some things you just can't fix, that's all I'm saying. That's how you'd handle it, something like this? You'd just give up? No. I'd do it just like you. It's an infusion. She's gonna have a drain in her abdomen. You're going to have to check for possible infection. Lucas Palmero, Trina Wyatt. Child Services, state of New Jersey. Can I help you? This is a private room. He's only 15 years old, a minor. He's in a tough living situation. We're just here to help. I don't need your help. 15? Lucas, you're gonna have to come with us right now. Where are you taking him? Well, until the determination is made, he'll be housed at Children's Services. I don't wanna be housed. I live with my mom. Not for the next few days. Come on. Let's not make this difficult, huh? Mom. Mom. I love you. The mat's lost. I remember. Yeah. I remember. 